Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. This is our 30,000 gallon natural bottom pond that has been on our property for over 40 years. This warm body of water is being heated with a combination of solar thermal and geothermal methods. The reason I am keeping this water warm is because of what happened last year. Towards the end of February 2013, many of our huge koi fish began surfacing gasping for air. We increased the air and water circulation to the pond, but one by one, our koi began to die. We had the water tested daily for two weeks and had several koi and exotic fish experts come out to test for hydrogen sulfide and other possible causes of the sudden fish kill. Since only female koi fish were dying and all of them were full of eggs, the final conclusion for the loss of the 12 fish was the late winter cold snap. In central Florida, we experienced four years of extremely warm and mild winters. The winter season from the end of 2012 to the beginning of 2013 was also very warm. This caused the koi fish to start the breeding process early, but when the late cold snap arrived, the fish became dormant and the females could not release their eggs so they rotted inside them. With 12 large fish remaining and several smaller offspring, this year's weather pattern was very similar. While the rest of the country was being blasted with cold air, the fronts were not making their way to central Florida. Then we had a late cold snap. To prevent a repeat of last year, I added 400 feet of 3 quarter inch black hose from one end of our property to the pond with a restricted one gallon per minute flow. For several hours a day when the sun was out, water temperatures were averaging 100 degrees Fahrenheit circulating into the pond. At nighttime, I allowed the deep well water that is a constant 72.4 degrees Fahrenheit year round to flow into the pond. When this year's late cold snap arrived, temperatures dropped into the upper 20s, but our pond maintained a low temperature of 65 degrees Fahrenheit and a high temperature close to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We survived the late cold snap without losing a single fish. Our pump did run 24 hours a day for six days straight, consuming 1,000 watts, or 24 kilowatt hours a day, costing about $3 a day in electricity. But $18 over the six day period is really not that expensive when you consider the 17 degree temperature increase over last year when the pond dropped to a low of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This demonstrates the power of combining solar thermal and geothermal. Heating a 30,000 gallon natural bottom pond with gas or electricity alone would cost a small fortune. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Mm -hmm.